I'm Greg Zanis, inventor of DreamCar123.com. Right here, I'm sitting on a full-size model of the frame of the dream car, and in this model, there's represented 86 volt batteries. And when we build the car that you've seen, we have a plexiglass, half-inch bulletproof glass over the top that keeps the person in the car away from the batteries, keeps him safe. Now, here is a standard motorcycle battery. And what you have in the battery, and I don't know if you can see it, is liquid, and that's acid. We want to keep the person safe and away from the acid in, in, in the event of a crash. Now, this is a standard RC car battery pack. There's six batteries. These are dry cells. And then here is a lithium-ion battery pack tight put together. I'd like to show you also some other lithium batteries. They're basically a baggie and the battery, you can actually see it moving here. I'd like to point out that these are very, can be very dangerous if the occupant in a car punctures one of these things, that can cause it to catch on fire. I don't know if you remember seeing some computers that were using lithium ion batteries and they recalled those batteries. And then here's a couple of more. This one's marked bad because it's got something wrong with it. They, they do go bad. And of course, today everybody knows about, not everybody, but a lot of people know about the Tesla Roadster. And lately I was, I got a test ride in a Tesla Roadster and I'm just thinking, if this thing got in a car crash, that, that that battery can catch on fire similar like a torch. I feel that this technology is very dangerous and it hasn't been checked out. I'm very worried, of course, that if somebody gets in a car crash with a lithium ion battery pack, they could just get burnt. That's why we're staying with conventional technology, conventional batteries and conventionally proven systems. Thank you very much. I'm Greg Zavis.